and welcome to Calorie Creations. Today I'm going to be opening, unboxing this huge package uh, that uh, it's a bunch of um, hobby materials and art supplies that I ordered from WS company in Sweden. Um, I'll leave more information about them down below and talk a bit more about them later because I think you all want to see what I've We had a little change of scenery. I took everything down to my office because I couldn't really get the overhead shots at my kitchen table. So, starting off, I want to preserve, oh, <laughs> I want to preserve as much as possible of the packaging so I can reuse it at a later date. This was my first time ordering from WS Company. The video is not sponsored, I paid for everything myself, but I want to give them a little shout out, a little highlight because of their outstanding customer service. WS Company carries a huge range of crafting materials and art supplies and literally within a minute of me asking a question about what to use for a particular project, I got a response with suggested products. The delivery was very fast and everything came well packaged. WS Company is located in Linköping in Sweden where they also have a physical shop but they ship to most European countries. So the first thing I picked up was a bunch of Ecoline liquid watercolor. They are really cool and they come in these uh, little bottles with a pipette. So you can just drop the colors into your palettes. I previously have uh, some of them in the old packaging which is just like a screw on lid. So I think these are going to be much easier to to use. Uh, and just a little disclaimer so you know, I'm going to be unboxing um, all of the stuff I bought, I'm going to be making swatches with the materials I bought and if you want to see me use them more properly and in depth, subscribe to my channel because that might come later on. Uh, so this is an unboxing, not a test all of the art supplies and make elaborate uh, work. Just so you know. Okay, moving on. The next category of items are materials to making lino cuts. So um, for my shop update, um, launch date to be added, um, I want to make some some prints I think with, um, with lino cut method. So I got a pad to use for, for cutting. I have this little... Um, Thing that you use so you don't have to hold your hand and you know with my track record I'm probably gonna like slice a finger off or something I won't be selling my uh, chopped off fingers so uh, for my safety I bought this one uh, then we have a bunch of lino cutters and a handle set these brayers are really good when you're applying colors for it for when you are going to be printing I'm a pro! And then also I bought this uh, color which is made specifically for uh, lino cut printing things. Yeah, I should have scripted this, shouldn't I? This is, this is what you get when you subscribe to Colored Creations. Just talk... Yeah. The next category of items I purchased was uh, modeling clay and some tools to use with the clay. I don't know if I'm going to sell something that's connected to like clay stuff, <laughs> but I really want to dabble with um, making things for myself. Maybe I'll sell them. And then I also bought this uh, DuraClear satin varnish, so I can use it on top of my finished product and uh, it will probably 
hopefully be <laughs> uh, waterproof. So I really want to make um, a palette perhaps to use with my Ecoline colors and um, yeah and then you need to, to varnish the finished product so it doesn't seep through into the into the clay. Here are the final things I ordered from WS Company. So we have this little um, journaling or yeah, just everyday use supplies. We have a glue stick and this uh, Uniball Jetstream pen, which I heard had very quick drying ink. So I look forward to using that so I don't smudge my writing. Then we have some more art supplies. So I bought a bunch of um, palette knives for mixing colors. And also a Daniel Smith masking fluid with applicator. So it's easier to apply the masking fluid and hopefully this won't clog as easily as my other masking fluid, fluid things. And also you got, get some extra um, applicator tips. Then we have a lamp black watercolor pan from White Knights. So I have uh, a bunch of these, but I wanted, I wanted more. Now I want to complete the, the palette I have. That's an upcoming video for you guys, so you get to see when I'm using the art supplies, not just showing them off. Next up we have this, which is... No, didn't work. A bottle of India ink. And lastly, because I really need more sketchbooks in my life, we have this sketchbook from Sakura. So it has 80 sheets, 140 GSM A5 size sketchbook with a little pen loop and an elastic. We have this one from Hannah Mule, which is the cappuccino book. So it has colored pages. It has 80 pages and 120 GSM. And then this one, I was quite intrigued by this. It was... Um, a discount so that was nice so it's from Claire Fontaine it has 64 pages with 250 GSM paper which is really nice so yeah let's add them to my ever-growing pile of um, unused sketchbooks yeah you I of course I will use them eventually just not right now but yeah this one I, I really looking forward to use because it, it's like mixed media and it has extra white paper with the natural grain so maybe maybe this one will be the next one I crack open
these are just some of the art supplies and the crafting materials I bought, but I thought it would be a nice little overview to end the video. So thank you so much for watching this. If you have any question about either the, the shop I purchased from or the materials I bought, leave a comment down below. Uh, what do you look forward to most if I'm gonna film some videos of me using them? Also leave a comment down below. Um, so yeah, I um, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a lovely day. Hey, Dua! Thank you.